Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. I've borrowed the title of this video from one of the research papers that I read. It's called Metformin, an old dog with new tricks. I liked the title because um, Metformin is an old dog. It's a very old, uh, inexpensive diabetes medication that actually comes from French lilac. Um, and it was registered as a diabetes medicine by the FDA in the USA in 1994. Um, but it really has been discovered to have new tricks. So it's an old dog with new tricks. So what are the new tricks? Well, it's had these tricks before. It's just that the research literature is telling us more and more about what metformin can do. Not only can it bring your insulin down and bring your blood sugar down, but it lowers many aspects of your cholesterol. It lowers weight. It takes away appetite and helps you lose weight. Um, it reduces heart attack and strokes. It reduces diabetic blood vessel disease complications like um, damage at the back of the eye, kidney failure, and numb um, legs from nerve damage, and we call that neuropathy. Amongst the cholesterol, we know that it reduces bad LDL uh, and possibly the bad triglycerides, and it also lowers CRP, which is an indicator of inflammation in the body. So with all of that, it reduces inflammation and therefore further heart disease, stroke, uh, cancer, and other inflammatory conditions. So that includes Alzheimer's disease, stroke, heart attack, kidney failure, and even depression. I won't go into huge detail about the complicated nature of um, the way it works, but I will tell you that the cancers that um, metformin has been found to reduce include bowel and breast cancer, including HER2 breast cancer, pancreas cancer, prostate cancer, melanoma, and even cancer of the uterus. Metformin has been found to be very useful in treating women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. In this condition, um, more male-like hormones occur and there's not enough progesterone, and that tends to drive insulin resistance, which makes them at risk of gaining weight and getting diabetes. Well, metformin reduces the insulin resistance, and it is well known that it can help restore a normal healthy cycle when there hasn't been one. Although metformin is very good for health and helps many conditions, who should not make, take metformin? Anyone with severe kidney or liver disease, alcoholics, those with heart failure, certain drugs, recent heart attack or stroke, type 1 diabetics, and pregnant or breastfeeding. And that's because... Uh, the side effects of metformin that need to be watched for include the lowering of vitamin B12. Um, some people get nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort, so gut problems. And in some people, it can um, lower the blood test for thyroid um, and then make it difficult for you to interpret thyroid function tests. So overall, metformin has many, many benefits. So don't be surprised if you see many more people taking a metformin and not just for diabetes type 2.